Happy Wednesday morning to you, Cross Point Alliance Church. I am outside the building right now and enjoying the nice frigid air. I hope that you're well, resting in Jesus. I want to share a couple thoughts with you from the book of James as we're heading into a new year and wrapping up a year. I always think about what happened and then think about what's about to happen. Probably you do too. But I want to read a couple of uh, scriptures from James 4, 13 and 14 are the verses. So uh, it says, Come now. You who say today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring, what is your life, for you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. That's James chapter 4, 13 and 14. So as we're coming to the end of this year and looking into next year, I think it's appropriate to pause and reflect a little bit. We'll be doing two messages this coming year on heaven and hell along that trajectory of self-assessment and thinking and taking uh, stock of where we're at. But I want to share a couple thoughts with you from James 4, 13 and 14. So the first one is a question and that is what were the highs and lows to your life this past year? Highs and lows. We will sometimes at our table, we'll do highs and lows at the supper table and reflect on the day and how things went and high point and then a low point. Did you uh, experience loss this year? Perhaps resource loss or loss of a job or loss of property, valuables, perhaps your investments went down or did you gain this year? Perhaps you gained some resources. Did you um, lose a, a loved one? Did uh, you lose a relative or a friend? Or I think some of you had a child, had a baby, and maybe new life came into the year. Loss or gain in resources or with people. And even beyond that, as you think back on this life, uh, this past year, what was the Lord saying to you? Did he give you a word of encouragement? Did he visit you at a point in time and really say something to you to lift your spirits and to give you strength and courage? Or in some cases, did the Lord correct you and tell you not to go somewhere or not to do something or to stop doing something? So these are highs and lows. These are highs and lows. So that's the first kind of question or first thought is what were the highs and lows for 2022? The second thing I want to say, and this is not a question, this is more a bit of a challenge, but that is think about the brevity of your life. Think about the brevity of your life. The language here in James is that you, you, I, you are a mist. I am a mist or a vapor that appears for a little while and then is gone. So as you think about the brevity of your life, uh, hopefully it's uh, not something we shrink back from, it's actually something we should be pressing towards because it's so true. I think Jonathan Edwards in his resolutions, he made a bunch of resolutions that he would meditate on. He went over them every day in his mind. But uh, resolution number one was this, resolve to think much on all occasions of my own dying and of the common circumstances which attend death. Resolution number nine, to think about his death. And I think that's appropriate. It's not morbid to think about the reality of the brevity of our lives because we won't be here long. What that does, I think at one, one level, it helps to keep us humble. It helps to keep perspective that we're not going to be here very long. And so we're not strong enough to endure here. Our bodies break down and they decay and they lose their strength eventually. So it helps to keep us humble and also I think helps us to keep from thinking that we're entitled to something because we're actually not. We're here for just a little while. So that's one, reflect on the brevity of life. So it should make you humble. And number two, it can help you to get your priorities straight because if you don't have a lot of time, you might as well use the time that you have and get it done right and to repent of sin as needed or to readjust the loves in your life, your affections because you're not here for a while. So why spend time knowingly under a structure that is not prioritized correctly? Or why spend time loving things that are out of order in our lives? So it helps to kind of structure our lives. And then lastly, in reflecting on the brevity of life, it can hopefully keep you from, help keep you from getting stuck. Because 
if you get stuck or you, you get in a bit of a funk, and I think we can all do that, um, you don't have a lot of time, so you might as well not stay stuck in, uh, in a funk or even with celebration. There's a time to celebrate and then it's over and then you get back to work. But uh, we can get stuck sometimes staying somewhere longer than is rightly, uh, than, than we should. So, uh, so one, highs and lows, what are the highs and lows? Two, meditate on the brevity of life. And then three, be bold and courageous as you consider the next year. Be bold and courageous, there's work to do. There are decisions to be made and you don't have a lot of time. No need to panic, but no need to mess around either. So be bold and courageous, the Lord is with you. Jesus has said, I'll be with you always, even to the end of the age. And what that doesn't mean is he's just gonna do everything for us. He's our strength, he's our shield, but he does give us directives and he does tell us to obey and to live and to glorify him, so let's get on it. So as you think about 2023, what are the things you're supposed to do? What are the things you're supposed to accomplish? So anyway, just a couple of thoughts from James. Um, James chapter 4, 13 and 14. I want to transition a little bit to in-house things. I already mentioned to you the next two Sundays we're going to be treating heaven and hell. And I think it's important we keep those things in front of us. Those are pretty key Bible teachings and it helps to maintain sanity. Uh, but we'll be doing that. I think also uh, I want to remind you that the last Sunday in January is our annual meeting. And our annual meetings, when we come together as a church, we uh, conduct business. We will approve a budget. We will elect ministry leaders and put people into office. Uh, we also cast vision for 2023. And so we get to hear kind of what at least what we believe we should be tending to in this next year exciting time and i think i'm pretty sure we'll be having a potluck so we'll be eating together sitting down to eat and enjoy food together while we're um, conducting business and casting vision for this following year so anyway hope that you're uh still enjoying good food and calories and all of that and january is coming and then it'll be time to get back in the gym but for now it's it's okay to celebrate so let me bless you cross point and send you on your way okay lord bless you and keep you lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace amen love you cross point we'll see you soon